Good morning, YouTube. It is August 29th, 2019. And these are your morning announcements. Wow. So I'm heading into work. And my windows are fogging up. Because it is 61 degrees out. What? Fall is coming. Fall is coming. Let's see if I can get this window cleared off. Nope. Well, I'm just going to have to wait for that to happen. Anyway. I was supposed to go get my hairs cut tonight, but my stylist called and said that she cannot do it tonight, so we had to reschedule for next week, which is kind of a bummer, but it'll be all right. Even though my, my hair grows like a weed, man. It always has, and it is out of control right now. <laughs> Hopefully I won't have to, uh, go without a hat because it's it's crazy it's crazy what is going on here so it looks like I got a lot of positive responses An error has occurred. I'm unable to answer your question try again later my watch is talking to me anyways it seems like people liked the uh, video I did of my soup, my Zupa Toscana soup. And if you guys really want to try something delicious, oh my gosh, you guys got to try that soup. It is so good. If you like kale. But you know, if you don't like kale, you can always substitute the kale for like spinach or whatever else you like. Celery. You can twist up that recipe any way you want, as long as you got the basics in there of a spicy sausage, either Italian or Portuguese or whatever you decide to pick up, and the chicken broth and the bacon. You don't eat a lot of bacon, but that bacon really gives it a delicious kind of smoky flavor to go along with the spiciness. It is so good. Oh my gosh. And I bake my, I, I halfway bake my um, bacon before I put it in the soup to draw out as much oil as possible because I don't need the bacon fat in the soup. I've already got sausage in there, so you don't need the bacon fat. And it tastes so good. You know, this morning too, I was like just going through some friends' videos, a bunch of different people. That I, that I like to watch in the morning. And man, there are so many people that are hurting right now. It makes me so sad. You know, people who have got health issues, money issues, problems with their, with their families, death. all kinds of stuff and just so much hurt so many so many hurt souls out there you guys don't forget to take time to pray don't forget to take time to ask God to help you with these things put it in his hands let him help you the being that created this universe is far bigger and far wiser than any of us. So, when you give the Creator the glory, tell Him your problems and ask Him for help, God always answers. He always answers. It's not always the answer that you're expecting or the answer that you're hoping for, but remember, God is outside of time. He can see past, present, and future simultaneously. And what we might think the solution to our problems are might not be the best course of action for, for us. 
So let him let him guide you. It's not gonna it's not gonna steer you wrong. I promise you that. So what else is happening? Um, on the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth of September. My mother-in-law, Janie, is coming to stay with us for a few days because she's here in Milwaukee. She actually lives in North Carolina now, but she's originally from here. And uh, she's going to hang out with us for a few days, which is going to be fun. So I have to get out my uh, creative juices because when she's there I love to wow her with my cooking so I might even make the Zupa Toscana soup let her try it because it's really delicious I really don't have anything else to tell you guys. I'm kind of, uh, I'm boring today. <laughs> I'm boring. Oh no. But anyways, that was my update. Let's see. I can give, I can tell you the temperature. It is 62 degrees. It is sunny. It is beautiful today. Beautiful, beautiful start to the downward spiral of summer into fall, which is fine. All right. Well, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow on my way into work. I love you guys. Mwah. Take care. Bye-bye.